Hey guys, this isn't going to be as polished or as professional as most of my work tries really hard to be. Due to the fact that this is done very quickly, I'm going to be heading on a plane to Detroit here pretty soon. But I wanted to go ahead and pump this thing out for you guys to enjoy. And just so you're aware, I do make one insult in all this. And that's because this man, he's not a professional in terms of animation industry. He really doesn't know what he's talking about. So I figure if he's going to spend the entire video insulting a property we enjoy as well as people who are upset, I think he just deserves just a tiny, tiny little taste of his own medicine. Enjoy. Now, I'm not going to include anything from his video in this simply due to the fact that I don't really want to deal with a copyright claim. And again, this is going to be very quick. I'm trying to get a point across here. So sit back, relax. The link for his video will be in the description. You can feel free to watch that before looking at this, but I'm going to go ahead and start. In his opening statement, Robert attempts to insult us and our concerns by comparing us to previous generations and claiming that we're trying to stifle creativity. This is both inflammatory and lacks any basis in any reality outside of Robert Chipman's. He then goes on to further talk down to people having concerns by employing the fallacy of relative privation, which doesn't lend itself to actual discussion, but is used to try and shoo away actual concern. He follows that up by trying to malign the Thundercats cartoon of 2011 by decrying the fact that they're taking the series premise seriously as though he has an actual clue of what he's talking about in relation to this property and its contemporaries. Following that, he compares it to trying to be in the same scope as Avatar as saying it has no business aspiring to be like that. This speaks to Robert's willful ignorance of the care and work that went into the original show, something we see come to fruition even more later. Going on ahead, he spouts out some asinine diatribe about toy sales and stock animation in an attempt to sound smart, something Robert does regularly and something he's not particularly good at, which just further shows that he knows nothing about the properties which he's talking about. On top of that, constantly calling this property dumb is the most pants on headway stupid of convincing people outright that they're wrong. The only way this works is in the imaginary world of Robert Shipman where other people aren't allowed to retort. Further, he goes on another spiel while calling outraged people man babies, gleefully lacking self-awareness. Mind you, he repeats the same false information about the 2011 series he is likely just seeing repeated on social media about how no one watched it, because Robert isn't capable of doing actual research on anything he's talking about. And again, he mocks the intent and concept of the original show. Look at them isn't a counter-argument, Robert, and if it was, you'd go to the gym and lose weight so fast it would make your voice seem slow. He continues to mock the staff of the original show on a surface level because he can't be bothered to actually put thought into something. Don't watch the show immediately loses all merit when responding to the backlash and not ignoring it yourself. Furthermore, Robert goes on about how many episodes the original series has as if it has any relevance, failing to understand how Warner Brothers has treated this property over the years and the potential damage this new show could do for future shows and products. He follows that by, again, talking about something he has no understanding of, art styles in the toy industry, especially considering he talks about limited molds, considering a toy line that didn't reuse a single mold for its entire run. This, again, shows that Robert is willfully ignorant of the source material to what he's discussing. Let the kids have their cartoon isn't an argument. This is Robert again not understanding the issues being brought up. You see, Robbie boy, anyone can talk fast and sound smart. The point is you're a sophist and you should probably slow down, take a look at what you're talking about, and maybe do just an iota of research before you open your full mouth. Thank you. Good night.